Tornadoes are one of nature's most powerful and unpredictable forces. With their swirling winds and destructive paths, they capture our attention and our fear. But what exactly causes a tornado to form? In this video, we'll break down the science of tornado formation, from the initial conditions to the incredible forces at play. A tornado typically forms during severe thunderstorms, especially in what's known as a supercell storm. Supercells are intense thunderstorms with a strong, rotating updraft. This rotation is crucial, and it's what can eventually lead to a tornado. The process starts when warm, moist air from the ground meets cold, dry air from above. This combination of air masses creates instability in the atmosphere, which can fuel a storm. When these air masses collide, the warm air is forced upward, creating a strong updraft that can start rotating if certain conditions are met. So, what causes this rotation? It's all about something called wind shear. Wind shear is a difference in wind speed or direction at different altitudes. When you have strong winds blowing in one direction near the ground, and faster winds blowing in a slightly different direction higher up, it creates a horizontal, rolling effect in the air. Now, when this rolling column of air is caught by the storm's updraft, it tilts from horizontal to vertical. Imagine this rotation as a spiral starting to spin faster as it stretches upwards into the storm cloud. As the rotation intensifies, it can become more focused and concentrated in what's called a mesocyclone, which is a rotating column of air within a thunderstorm. Not every mesocyclone forms a tornado, though. For a tornado to form, the conditions need to be just right, allowing the rotating air within the mesocyclone to tighten even further and touch down on the ground. This narrow, high-speed column of air is what we recognize as a tornado. Once a tornado has touched down, it can vary in size and intensity, ranging from small, weak funnels to massive or powerful tornadoes with winds over 300 miles per hour. The Enhanced Fujita Scale, or EF Scale, measures the strength of tornadoes based on the damage they cause, from EF0 the weakest to EF5 the strongest. While we understand much about tornado formation, predicting exactly when and where they'll occur remains challenging. The chaotic nature of the atmosphere, the need for specific conditions, and the rapid development of tornadoes make forecasting difficult. That's why storm chasers and meteorologists closely monitor supercells and weather patterns during tornado season, especially in regions like Tornado Alley in the central United States. Climate change may also be impacting tornado patterns, though scientists are still studying its effects. Warmer global temperatures can contribute to more intense storms, which could increase the frequency or strength of tornadoes in some regions. However, much more research is needed to fully understand this relationship. Tornadoes remind us of the powerful and sometimes unpredictable forces of nature. Through scientific research and technology, we've made incredible advances in understanding these storms. But while we can explain how tornadoes form, there's still much to learn about predicting and responding to these incredible phenomena. 